Hello everybody, welcome to you and I play, or what is the variant Al calls it? Me, myself and I play. Uh, enter the Gungeon. Uh, this is James, not Al. I have killed Al, uh, consumed his heart and taken his place not only on this channel but in society as a whole. Uh, I'm finding his life very rewarding. We are here <laughs> playing Enter the Gungeon. As I said, this is a fairly new game, made quite a few waves when it came out, it was pretty popular. And I'm enjoying it, I've played a few runs so far, I've tried all the different characters. This is the Marine, he has a fairly standard shooty shooty uh, and a roll. And he also has a reload, that little walkie talkie thing in the bottom left is an uh, ammo drop. So I can call in ammo for any gun, I can only use it once though, as I found out on a previous run. He's kind of the... I would say probably the bog standard starter character, pretty easy um, and you could just kind of get stuck into the game. I'm not very good at this game so be prepared to watch me die but let's have a go. I am playing using a controller and I'm learning that this game is hard to play while talking at the same time. It takes quite a lot of concentration, there's a lot of things going on on the screen at one time, lots of things to kind of pay attention to. Ooh, chest straight away. Okay. Uh, let's hang on to our key for the moment and see if there's something worthwhile using that on later. So you can see I flipped a table here. That's quite a good way to get some cover. The tables do get destroyed after a little while, but you can save your ass in a pinch. So I lost some armor straight away. Not all the characters start with armor, just the marine. Uh, and armor basically it's like an extra life but when you get hit and it goes away it also has what's called a blank effect so blanks are these things you can use you'll see me use one at some point I'm sure where you can basically blast away all the oh, I hate these things all the bullets that are coming at you on the screen it's very good if you're getting overwhelmed don't get an infinite supply of them but sometimes it's worth using them Oh look, talking of, that was a blank right there that I just picked up, that little blue bullet. And there's a boss straight away, okay. Have to try and remember to reload before I go to the next room. Something I'm very bad at is remembering that I need to reload before I walk straight into the next room with one bullet in my gun. Reloading in general I'm not great at. I tend to not notice until it's too late. So ideally we want to be getting some better guns, that's kind of the thing that helps you get through this game. You get better guns, you deal more damage, you clear rooms quicker, you get your ass kicked less. So this is a blocked off passageway, we'll have to go around, so it's probably this way. Uh, I've tried a few runs with this, like I say, I've tried all the different characters. There's a convict, the hunter, uh, the pilot, I think, is the last one. Uh, there's some characters you can unlock, but I have no idea how just yet. Um, I'm not sure really how you get much in the way of permanent progress in this. It's uh, a roguelike, so basically you die, then you're done. You don't really get to carry anything forward. But there is some stuff, some persistent states you can try and get. Uh, backpack. No idea what that does. Ammo, key, half heart. And... Escape rope. I've had that before and I didn't actually find a... Whoa, the hell are you? Hello. Something for the collection. I will compensate you. Uh, okay. What do I give you? Do I shoot you? Nope. Whoops. Sorry, shopkeep. Uh, okay. One thing I do really like about this game is you can teleport back to any room you've cleared. Really handy. There's also no kind of time limit or anything on this so it's actually sometimes worth ooh, taking it slow and avoiding damage rather than trying to go for the quick room clear that might potentially be costly ooh, what's that something on the floor there I think you can spill that might just be water you can also spill things like gasoline or I think it's napalm they call it in this and that can ignite so the first few times I fought these guys they were really scary, now they're actually pretty easy because they're so slow and their attacks are so telegraphed. 
are actually not bad at all. There we go. Ooh. Okay, so that was a gun for free, basically. Snowballer. Um, seems like it's got quite a lot of ammo. There's another... I think blue chests are better than brown chests, so we'll go with this one with our key. Oiled cylinder. Reload faster. That's pretty obvious, but let's have a look. Increase the speed at which guns can be reloaded. Okay. So there's our secret passageway unlocked. Oh, actually, there was another way to go back here. So we could buy a key and get to our other chest, but for the moment, I'm okay. I think it was just a brown chest. Ooh, this is fast. And it freezes people. That's interesting. Okay, so I think I can use... Yeah, so... This unlocks a secret room somewhere. You need two keys to make most of the secret room. It unlocks a trap door that you can go down to a secret floor where there's, I think, something you can do to kind of make some of that permanent progress I was talking about. Oh, I don't like these things. Okay, that was easy. Yes, remember that time. Oh, and I'm back here. Okay, where haven't I been? Oh, so that's everywhere. So, do I want to buy a key? Hmm, I think I'm okay without it. So I found out this is a thing you can do now. And apparently that's junk. But I can sell that uh, to, the, to someone? I don't know. Oh, maybe that's what that guy was for. Let's find out. Um, I've watched a couple of other people playing this. Some stuff. Nope, no idea. Still no idea. Okay, I have got 55 though, backpack. I don't know if that's worth it. Ammo, don't really need ammo for that. Don't need life. Key, oh I've destroyed that chest now anyway. So, oh that's the secret room. There's no point going there. Even if I bought that key, I'd only have one. You need two for the secret floor. Let's just, uh... <laughs> So I fought a few of the bosses, the Bullet King and the Twins I both managed to beat. Haven't actually managed to beat Gatling Gull yet. Oops. Ah, oh, God. Off to a great start. So this is what I was talking about is it's better to have the win than the fast win. So... Oh, God. I should not try and rush this. This is quite a good room to fight him in though. I don't think I've fought him in here before. Okay, this is good. This is going okay. Ah! What did I just say? Not very good at dodging, clearly. Okay, stay alive. Don't worry about killing him necessarily. This is good, this is good damn oh god. Oh dear. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Calm under pressure, James. Calm under pressure. Ah, there we go. So Gatling Gull again. Is my undoing. Oh, I hate that guy. Okay. Um so that's it. Let's return to the breach scene have a quick look at that. So this is your kind of hub. This is where you can choose the characters that I was mentioning earlier. Let's just grab him again for the moment. So the more I do, the more stuff kind of shows up. Uh, I'm not quite sure again what the criteria are for, <laughs> what the criteria is for doing these things. Like I don't know how you get that open. No idea how you get this open or this thing up here, but I'm sure it will become apparent eventually, probably because I go look it up. But that will do for today. Thank you very much for watching and come back for more of this and other games on the channel if you subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends.